Captain Marvel is being positioned as the future of the MCU. Beautiful. I love to hear that. <laughs> Uh, so, we have here a new TV spot for Captain Marvel, and yes, we are going to talk about it and react to it because it's another Captain Marvel piece of content, and I gotta keep putting the pressure on this because I am not happy with the way that Captain Marvel is heading. Could the film be good? It's possible. But the fact that the entire marketing has been focused on identity politics definitely does not give me any hope for this whatsoever. So, let's go ahead and see what we have here. The new TV spot for next month's Brie Larson film spends a third of his time showing audiences Iron Man, Captain America, and Thor, which suggests the new hero could become as prominent as them to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Please, please no. Please no. A full third of the Rise TV spot is given over to scenes of Iron Man, Captain America, and Thor from their first movies before a montage of scenes of Larson in action as Carol Danvers. The on-screen captions explain that some are built, some are made, and some are born. Heroes, before inviting the audience to discover what makes her a hero in the new movie. It's not the first time that Marvel has done something similar. A TV spot for 2016's Doctor Strange offered a brief glimpse of the Avengers, although the purpose there was to simultaneously remind audiences we're the guys behind those guys so trust us, and differentiate the new hero from what came before. This time around, what's being asked is that audiences accept that Captain Marvel isn't that different and that she be considered in the same way as the big name heroes going forward. See, the big difference here is that, yes, it's one thing to tell the audiences, hey, we're the guys that made Iron Man, Thor, Captain America, so trust us. It's another thing to tell us to accept Brie Larson's Captain Marvel as just another awesome hero among those heroes that we have already. Because we haven't seen the movie yet. We don't, we don't know what we're going to think about Captain Marvel at this point. We don't know if we're going to accept her. So telling us to accept her before we even see her movie is not is not a good idea. Because you're you're basically force feeding Captain Marvel down our throats throats at this point, Marvel. And that is not cool. Telling us that she is the new face of the MCU is not cool. We don't know what we're gonna think about her at this point. What if we hate her? What if we all hate her? You're still gonna make her the face of the MCU? Well, Rip the MCU. <laughs> so let's go ahead and see what this teaser is all about, and then we can talk about it after that. We need heroes. Did the cringy title thing. I'm ready. Ugh. Captain Marvel, get tickets now. I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you though? Are the fans ready for you? That's my question. What if we don't like you? It's oh, okay. Quiet. What? It, I hate that Marvel Studios is trying to force feed Captain Marvel down our throats. It's ridiculous. When when Feige announced that Captain Marvel was going to be the face of, of the MCU, the new face of the MCU, I had red flags. I was like, wait. Iron Man earned that title. Captain Marvel has not earned that title. What if we don't like her? It's possible. It's it's a huge possibility at this point with how much the identity politics and the marketing is going. It's not good. It's not good. It is not a good sign and, you know, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Honestly, if we need a new face at the MCU right now, it should be Black Panther. That would be amazing. Black Panther deserves it at this point because we love Black Panther. He's earned our trust. He's earned our love. Why is Black Panther not the, the new face of the MCU? 
Anyway, those are my thoughts about the teaser. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you very soon in another video. Talk to you later. Bye.